apparently the pigs are loose. So I just, you escaped and ate all your food. You've upset the chickens. My fault because I did not put the screwdriver in. You can't. You ate all your food, Daddy said. You tipped your whole feed bin over. Look at that. You tipped your whole feed bin over and ate it all. And look at the chicken back there. What? No way. You don't deserve it. I was going to bring you a hot dog bun. No way. That's all they're going to get. That food's going to do them in the morning. Don't even think about it. You guys got one week. Top it, top it. Let's go say hi to the. Where's Busy? Hey, Biz. You have not been doing your job because I don't think these girls are pregnant. They don't look it at all. You are bad. You're bad. You got out and eat all your food. Yeah. What's your point? No treats for you tonight. Nope. Not at all. Hey folks, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Yesterday, Pork and Chop got out of their um, pen and they knew exactly which bin was their food and they ate it all. What was left? We had enough to do us till tomorrow, but they ate more than their fair share. So they won't eat just straight grain. It has to be kind of ground or cooked or whatever. So what I've done here, because of course it's Easter Monday and the feed store was closed. So what I've done was, is I just boiled up some water and some, um, with a little bit of oil in it. And I threw in, oh, probably about four cups of rice. And then I put in about eight cups of goat feed, which is pretty much oats and corn and molasses and that. And I just cooked this up and I got this huge pot which we'll do tonight and tomorrow morning and then they will uh, we'll be able to get some feed from the feed store unless this works and is cheaper I just may do this anyway this is Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying big food yummy little buggers eh